welcome to the channel as in previous videos we have seen how to uh, do nmap scanning and try to find out uh, what ports are open like stealth scanning and uh, we have also seen how to check for udb ports and we will also we have also seen how to do os discoveries so uh, today we will uh, be looking into more of a uh, you know into nmap and we will see uh, more advanced stuffs into it okay let's start so so let's try to understand that what we have done in the previous video we have uh, so let me just quickly uh, uh, okay so we have uh, two systems running into this network okay so we will we have scanned this network previously and uh, we have found out that uh, this one is uh, uh, Windows XP and this one is the uh, the Metasploitable 2 uh, box so we will uh, do some uh, advanced techniques in nmap what is like uh, uh, to you know uh, evade firewalls so how do you, how can you evade firewalls how can you you know uh, do the scans in such a way so that you cannot get detected by the firewalls or the intrusion detection systems so we will quickly see few commands that uh, we will be able to do this kind of things so already we have uh, so what I will do is I will use this IP address as a zombie and I will try to scan this network so let's see if I can do that so I'll just, just ping it okay and I will just try to check for the port 80 so you can check all the ports uh, from like uh, just minus p dash or you can just check few ports like 1 to 65535 ports or you can just uh, check the ports for 80 ports okay so now I will just do this si and I will do the decoy address sorry the zombie address not decoy decoy is a separate thing will come again 0.2.5 and 10.0.2.15 okay so let's see what happens so there is an idle scan happening port 80 cannot be used uh, because IP ID sequence class it's all zero try another proxy so I can use something like uh, one yeah it worked so you can see that this is there okay so I am scanning uh, the HTTP port is open on this box I should have done the opposite actually 2.5 and 15 so let's see yeah so that Linux box is that um, Metasploitable 2 box is open working fine and we have used the zombie as this one okay so actually the scan is happening from this IP address not from the IP address that I have right now that is that is 10.0.2.4 okay all right so this one technique that you can do so I can do one more technique that is so I will scan this Windows XP box and I will try to reduce uh, you know basically send packets right so we will uh, divide the packets into very small fragments so you can just put a minus F there that's just done so and it, 
it returns the same thing basically but the packets are chunked into very small frames okay so we can also decide the mtu maximum translation maximum translation unit yes my english <laughs> mtu to 8 bytes to 8 bytes and this will do the same same thing so we can see that the http port is open the smtp port is open we will do some smtp enumeration uh, some RPC is open, NetBIOS 139, yes, NetBIOS is open. Okay, so 445 is there, HTTPS is also there. Okay, so let's see if I can get any uh, 10.0.2.15, I think under construction. Nice, what is this? Not called. Okay. All right. So the page is working and something under construction is happening. I don't know what is this. Anyway. So we are seeing uh, a lot of things here. Now what I will do is I will try to, you know, send a decoy. Uh, what is a decoy is like I can select few IP addresses and I will send to the in-map scan from those IP addresses not from my IP address obviously it is originating from this IP address but uh, from the IP address of this machine but uh, this will not show this to the firewall that is happening to the target machine so we will do sudo in-map uh, was minus D we will choose randomly suppose we will choose um, five IP addresses and the target machine and it's up and running so it should be fast should be fast um, yeah it's done mm, good so like what, what you can see here that we can do some banner grabbing and things uh, yes, yes. To understand better about the services that's working on. It's taking time. Yeah. So you can see what's happening. So there is IIS service going on. ESMTP is going on. So there's a net BIOS. Okay. So so quickly we can understand what services are going on we can do a vulnerability scan that will be for a later video but um, this uh, MTP, there is a web server MTP. okay cool so let's see how windows xp looks it, it's funny actually to see windows xp so our desktop 10.0.2.15 so you, you can do a remote desktop of any you know any, any machine like this and just click it like that and yeah we have so obviously the username will not be Kali this admin desktop and So you can see that I have uh, Windows XP running here. Whoa, that's good. So Windows XP running inside a Kali. Okay. So actually, it is not running inside Kali. Actually, it is like uh, my God, so weird. Yeah, this is this is cool. So we can do a lot of things out of here. Actually, we have a command line sitting in inside this okay uh, we can check out of here so we can see how windows xp looks after a long time i'm seeing this by the way some items cannot be shown why all right so you can close this session we have seen that uh, that system is running windows xp okay so basically we, we have also seen that we can do uh, os fingerprint from uh, this Oh, sorry. 
we can try to find out what operating system the system is running this target machine is running so I already we have seen that it is running Windows XP from here but minus O gives a more kind of you know precise information about the operating system that is running on the target machine okay so we can see that OS service direction performed Windows XP again you can see that OS Windows service pack 3 it is more you know uh, precise in this case okay 